Hey guys, what's up? I am back with a brand new video and it's time to do a check out the performance of the Samsung Galaxy A52 S 5G against the Samsung Galaxy S20 FE and the S20 FE is powered by Samsung Exynos 990 processor with 8GB of RAM while the Samsung A52 S 5G is powered by Qualcomm Snapdragon 778G 5G processor with 8GB of RAM as well on the back quad cameras on the A52 S 5G while on the S20 FE we have a triple cameras on the back we have a 12 megapixel main camera which also has a optical image separation on the s20 fe while on the samsung we have 64 megapixel main camera which also has a ois and then we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide we also have a 12 megapixel which is a telephoto lens which gave you a 3x optical zoom on the s20 fe while on the samsung we have a 12 megapixel ultra wide also we have 5 megapixel macro and a 5 megapixel depth sensor and the back is made up of plastic and the frame of the S20 FE is made up of aluminium while the A52 S 5G has a plastic frame on the bottom bathroom jack on the A52 S 5G which is not really available on the Samsung on the S20 FE both phones also has a dual speakers so in this video I'm gonna show you how much a difference between the Snapdragon 778G 5G processor versus the Samsung Exynos 990 processor which is inside the S20 FE I don't have the Snapdragon variant as of now so without any wasting time let's get right into it and guys now let's quickly boot both of these phones up at the same time here we go the logo is came up first on the s20 fe as compared to the a52 s 5g also we have android 11 on both phones we have samsung one ui which is a version 3.1 latest software and the S20 FE more faster when it comes to booting up while the A52 S 5G it is also right behind there about one second difference between these two devices when it comes to booting up and guys now let's talk about the displays between these two devices we have a 6.5 inch full HD Super AMOLED display with 120Hz refresh rate and both phones also has a punch hole which is on the center looks exactly the same uh, so you can see that and the bezels around the display it is much smaller on the S20 FE as compared to the A52 S 5G so now let's see apps opening speed okay guys so everything's closed up in the background no application is running in the background now let's open phone dialer that is little bit more faster on the S20 FE now let's see settings little more faster on the S20 FE now let's go to the display and you can see we have 120Hz refresh rate on both phones which which feels exactly the same now let's check out some more application now let's open amazon shopping and amazon shopping faster on the s20 fe as compared to the a52 s 5g so now let's see the scrolling again really smooth on both phones because we have 120 hertz refresh rate no issue whatsoever now let's check out some games application now let's open candy quest saga and the candy quest saga faster on the S20 FE as compared to the A52 S 5G. Now let's open Instagram. Exactly the same. Now let's open Pinout. Again, a little more faster on the S20 FE. Now let's open Snapchat. A little more faster on the S20 FE. Now let's open Spotify. Same start, faster on the S20 FE. Now let's open Subway Suffer. And the Subway Suffer will be more faster on the S20 FE yes Exynos 990 versus Snapdragon 778G about one second difference there not a huge difference now let's open Temper N2 and Temper N2 should be more faster on the S20 FE yes it is more faster there and the A52 S5 we also right behind there not a huge difference again we have those speakers on both phones which is more better on the S on the S20 FE. Now let's open PUBG Mobile and the PUBG. Let's see which one will be more faster. Looks like the S20 FE. Let's see at the end and the S20 FE more faster there. And the Samsung it is also right behind there. About one or two second difference there. Again we have smooth graphics with extreme frame rate on both phones. Now let's opening up the tutor and the tutor faster on the A52 S 5G this time. Now let's open Zedge and the Zedge 
faster on the Samsung as compared to the S20 FE. So now let's see the scrolling again, really smooth on both phones, no lag whatsoever. 120Hz refresh rate. So last time I launched in the cameras on both phones, default camera application, which one will be more faster? And the S20 FE more faster there as compared to the A52s 5G. Now let's see internet phone speed. I am seeing to follow Samsung internet browser on both phones. Now let's open vivo.com and vivo.com will be faster on the S20 FE but let's see at the end this very similar on both phones so now let's see the scrolling again really really smooth on both phones no issue whatsoever next on the list is the huawei.com and huawei.com again it is very similar again so now let's see the scrolling again really really smooth on both phones i didn't see any lag 120 hertz refresh rate so guys now let's see ram management on both phones and both phones has 8 gp of ram now let's see that one phone dialer no refresh let's see settings same result amazon shopping it is a internet refresh on both phones let's see candy Crush sega that card refresh on both phones i don't know why instagram let's see pin out refresh on the a52s 5g let's see snapchat that is, seems like refresh again open spotify no refresh subway suffer no refresh let's see temper and tool refresh now let's open pubg mobile no refresh now let's open tutor no refresh zedge no refresh last way back to the internet browser way we left and you can see and cast over up to say regarding the app's opening speed as you can see that and the samsung galaxy s20 fe is performed more faster as compared to the a52 s 5g only in the game app during time i would say that in system based application and both phones is performed very similar in terms of the ram device i would say that the s20 fe is performed a little bit more better in terms of the ram device as compared to the a52 s 5g 4500 mAh battery size on both phones in the box we have 15 watt fast charging but the a52 s 5g as well as the S20 FE and both phones also support 25 watt fast charging as well. So if you wanted 25 watt super fast charger, buy the charger separately. That's about it. And, th and thank you so much for watching this speed test comparison between the Samsung Galaxy A52 S 5G versus the S20 FE. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel for daily tech videos and follow me on Instagram and Twitter as well. And I will see you in my next video. Peace out.